All right. So you have your mass. Calculate the apparent weight. Now let me ask you this: Do you understand the meaning of apparent weight? Okay, this word, apparent weight. What does it actually mean? Sorry. All right. So to 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 visualize this, imagine you standing on a weighing scale. Okay, now if you stand on a weighing scale, it's on your on the floor. If you were to stand still, the weighing scale's reading would be the same as your weight, right? Your mass times g, right? Agree? Now, what if I were to jump? If I were to jump momentarily when I first push off, wouldn't the scale actually be depressed more? The apparent weight, you must understand what it actually means. Now, remember. The apparent weight is actually equal to your normal force. Do you understand? The apparent weight is equal to the normal force of the floor on the person. So, based on this, let's see now. Moving at a constant speed, a very uh, important question is: When there is a constant speed, what does Newton's first law mention? X on it. So, what does it mean? When you have a constant speed, there is no resultant force. All right. So now, if I were to ask you to draw a force, uh, a free body diagram, what would you draw? You would draw this person. Let's say his center of gravity is there. He would have a certain weight, correct? And he would have a normal force, okay, equal and opposite. Therefore, we can say from here that the net is going to be zero newtons. Therefore, there is no acceleration. Okay, sorry, there is no acceleration here. All right, a is zero. Okay, a is zero. So the apparent weight I wrote down now uh, is the mass times the g, right? Okay, remember it's the normal reaction force. The normal reaction force. I wrote that I drew earlier is equal to the weight, ma. So by calculating the weight, you immediately get the the normal reaction force, which is your apparent weight, lah. Okay. So his uh, mass multiplied by g will give you one three zero one three seven zero newtons. Because he's hundred and forty kilograms, he's very heavy. I have no idea. It's just a question, lah. Another point I want to talk about is okay, very quick one. You can see here there are many, many. This how many significant figures? One, two, three, four, five. But if you look at the two measurements here, this is only three SF, three SF. That is why at the bottom here we have three SF. No, that's four SF. I mean, you cannot ignore it. You cannot say one three seven zero and then put there one three seven is is way off. So you have to add a zero there, lah. But what I mean is the first three digits is related to. This and that. Follow significant, smallest significant figure value.